The bar is finished and you should not move here. Is that true or there's just something some people would like you to believe? Let me explain. Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist, who is one of the most influential professionals of the international tax industry, has recently declared Dubai, another heavyweight of the same industry, is dead. And this has created a lot of stir in the community about whether Dubai is really worth living any longer or not. And my clients started reaching out to me for clarification. So in this video, I'm going to give you my opinion on this topic and separate the facts from fiction. Before we start, my name is Shiraz Bahid and I have helped more than 100 entrepreneurs move to Dubai and save millions of dollars in taxes. So I know a thing or two about this subject. So firstly, Andrew Henderson, I really admire his work and his company and I have read his book, I've watched his YouTube channel and consider it a major source of inspiration and information. And this channel, Nomad Capitalist, was actually the inspiration for me to leave my job as a corporate consultant for Deloitte Dubai and start my own consulting firm and YouTube channel, Setup Hero. So in that video, Andrew effectively explained when it is beneficial to remain in Dubai and take advantage of the 0% personal tax and optimize for the 9% corporate tax rate and when it might be better to create a multi-jurisdiction approach to get an even lower corporate tax rate by relocating your business to another jurisdiction or moving yourself out of Dubai. However, it's crucial to recognize the specific audiences that this advice is actually targeted to. Both Nomad Capitalists and us cater to entrepreneurs who are six or seven figures or more. The content we produce, including news, updates, and text optimization strategies, is tailored to help these high-earning entrepreneurs live their best lives and minimize their tax obligations. This content is not designed for, let's say, job seekers who are making between fifty to sixty, seventy thousand dollars. There is, however, a key difference between the client base that I have and that nomad capitalists usually have. My clients are typically first-time entrepreneurs who have recently started earning significant income ranging from $20,000 per month to $100,000 per month, equating to an annual income of around half a million to million dollars. These clients are on an upward growth trajectory and expecting to increase their earnings to three or four million dollars or even more in the next two to three years. In contrast, in my observation, Nomad Capitalist tends to serve clients at a higher income level, focusing those who are earning between five to $20 million or more because a consultation session with Nomad Capitalist alone can cost between twenty-five to $50,000 just for the advice without any tangible implementation. This sort of investment in consulting advice makes sense for those in multi-million range as they get expert advice on establishing companies in multiple jurisdictions that can offer substantial tax savings justifying the advisory fee at these income levels. Nomad capitalist perspective for their own company, for instance, suggests that a 9% tax rate in Dubai is no longer viable for them. But they also have six or more jurisdictions where they are set up, so they have a lot more choice. Whereas my clients who are based in countries like Canada, Australia, UK or Europe have recently started to scale their businesses, making between 50 to 100k per month. At this stage, it is not necessary to spend $50,000 on a consulting advice to find out the best three jurisdictions to set up your business, personal residency and banking. The priority should be to relocate both yourself and your business from a high tax jurisdiction to a low tax jurisdiction in the quickest, simplest, most cost effective way. And Dubai does offer a solid solution to this, allowing you to establish your business banking and residency in UAE in under 30 days. I want to mention here that there is a small business relief in our tax system for businesses earning up to $800,000 in revenue that can benefit from a 0% corporate tax. And even as your revenues exceed a million dollars, there are provisions in the tax laws allowing you for deductions, such as those for reasonable salaries, which can help you lower your overall tax liability. The alternative is to move your business and personal tax residency to countries with lower taxes such as Georgia, Paraguay, Thailand, Indonesia, Italy or Switzerland. Some of which offer special tax deals or some fixed rates. This approach usually requires setting up complicated legal structure with the help of an international tax lawyer. As a result, you might depend heavily on these lawyers for any changes or advice, leading to high fee of around $800 to $1,000 per hour 
And this is definitely a way to go if you are making five, 10 or $20 million. And we do have clients at these revenue levels where we are helping them manage their personal and business residency through a multi-jurisdiction approach. It's just, they don't constitute majority part of our client base. So do you want to tangle yourself into complex setup and slow bureaucratic processes that can take months, for example, in Malta or Cyprus, or you want to use a straightforward ready-made solution where you just need one trusted partner in Dubai and a reliable exit tax lawyer in your home country to help you move out of your high tax system. You can achieve a zero tax personal residency and a low tax company setup in Dubai where you can live and grow your business for a few years. And once your revenue reaches three, four or $5 million, you can consider consulting with international tax lawyers for a strategy to further reduce your corporate tax to three to 4% or even 0% in some cases. The question is that whether this should be your first step right now when you're trying to leave your home country high tax system, or it should be your fifth step when you're out of your tax system and you're making a few million dollars every year, because this tarification is crucial for your international tax strategy. Moving to Dubai offers a different experience compared to relocating to places like Georgia or Thailand. For example, a client of mine initially chose Georgia over Dubai because he wanted to stay in Europe. However, after just one week, he decided to move to Dubai and stating the reason that the entrepreneurs that he find around himself were of limiting beliefs. He felt that in Dubai, he met people with much larger vision for the business and for income, where earning of $100,000 a month is seen as a starting point, not a peak. This environment in Dubai helps break through limiting beliefs about what's possible and offering a community that is aiming for and achieving much higher income than what is usually thought to be possible. Moving to Dubai connects you with a strong network of successful entrepreneurs, accelerating your business growth. What might take three years to achieve in places like Paraguay, Peru, Mexico, or Madagascar can be accomplished in Dubai in just one year, thanks to these valuable connections and networks. As I mentioned, once your business reaches the revenue of three, four, or $5 million, you will have the flexibility and resources to consider relocating to your business to another jurisdiction to optimize further, even if it means hiring expensive lawyers to ensure your tax strategy is perfectly tailored to your situation. However, until you reach that point, there is no need to complicate things. Just hire the best team that you can find in Dubai, the best exit tax lawyer that you can find in your home country and execute the non-tax residency process. Well, that's my take on the matter, but moving to Dubai and navigating the exit tax process in your home country tax system can be a hassle if you don't know what you're doing, not to mention that you can make some costly mistakes in the process. So if you want me to explain the entire process to you and see if it makes sense in your case, check out the first link in the description below where I break down my three steps of tax freedom blueprint and how it's helping my clients in Canada, Australia, UK, and Europe save millions of dollars in taxes. And if you want my help in doing the same for you and your business, Book a one-on-one -on -one call directly with me at setuphero.com slash call and we will get you started. That's all for now and I will see you in the next video.